Boys, today we're going to be trying to make a dead man switch work. So it does actually block a gen for 45 seconds if somebody working on that gen has got off it after the obsession has been hooked. That's why it works so well with oppression and thrilling tremors. If you haven't already subscribed, please do consider it. Only about 25% of people who watch my videos are actually subscribed, so it really means a lot to me. I do put a lot of effort into my videos. Anyway, without any more delay, let's get into it. Can we make Dead Man Switch a meta perk? Okay, Coal Tower. Literally Nurse's best map, probably, or one of Nurse's best map. I thought I heard somebody on that gen already. Hello there, Quentin. How you doing, mate? Just need you to stun me with a pallet, if you wouldn't mind. No, we're just gonna run out in the open, okay? We're just gonna have to down him normally then. No dead hard on the Quentin, perfect. We'll throw him on the hook and then we need to find our obsession. Okay, who is our obsession? It's the Claudette, okay. This might not be as easy as I thought then if this Claudette plays anything like most Claudettes. I hear you, Cheryl. Where are you going? How are you playing this? Just going around the hill? I didn't get any line of sight on her there. There she is. Did not get it away with that, Cheryl. No chance. Even with your flashlight macro. Can I see the Claudette in barbecue? I see no one in barbecue. Nice, nice. I don't know what this Claudette's wearing or anything. Okay. Well, the knee is here, so we've seen everybody this game apart from the Claudette to get any dead man switch value. That's okay, though. I'm assuming this is the Claudette, right? That came in to save? It is! Claudette! How nice of you to show up. If you don't mind, Claudette. I'd quite like to hook you so I can use my build. There we go. Nice down, slinger on a hook, and let's get this dead man switch going. Okay, hook the obsession. Uh, that guy's on a gen right on the top right hand corner. I should have pressed this and he should get off. Never mind, nobody's on a gen. <laughs> he got off it. What a unit. What are you doing, Quentin? Damn, I thought I could make that. I got stuck on the box on that blink. That's okay. We've still got another 15 seconds or so of Dead Man Switch. And you are hiding awfully. So I'll take a free hook on you. There we go. That gen over there did end up getting Dead Man Switch. But if you're not getting any value out of Dead Man Switch suppression, it pretty much just means... Oh, he was on the box. Okay. It pretty much just means that they're not on a gen. So it's not too much of a worry. Any gen that they are on will get blocked for 45 seconds, and if you don't get use out of it, then they're not on a gen. And if they're not on a gen, then you don't need to worry about them. What are we doing here, Quentin? Oh, Quentin. I don't know about that one, Chief. Do not know about that one. It's the Cheryl, which means the Claudette is going for save. Okay, the 80 second cooldown is up. So I need to find this Claudette now, really. I think I may have blinked past the Claudette. I'm pretty sure she just went for save. Pretty sure. Let's have a look. Yep. What? Okay, sure. Apparently I hit the gen. It's what it is. Where are you going, Claudette? Here you are. Free first hit. Are you telling me I hit that chest? Okay, game. Okay, I see how it is. Okay, I'm being patient with her now because I've got two hits where I got aim dressing or auto aim. Okay, that one should have whiffed. I'll give the game that. That one should have whiffed. The first two, though, are a little bit sus. Doubling back on herself. She's got an iron wall. Okay. Let's get this oppression dead man switch going. Nice. Flashlight save Cheryl. They on any gens? Uh, that one in the coal tower should block off of this. Oh wow, they actually hit the skill check. No, they didn't. Okay, never mind. We're fine. They hit the skill check and then they got off anyway. Okay, going out of the door normally. That's fine. I'm just going to break this wall quickly. 
We're gonna go for a ridiculous prediction blink to see if it works. And again. Nope, both of them failed. He took a really weird path there. But fair play while playing Quinton. Where he was. Okay, nice. That's something that's really important as Nurse, is just to take mental notes on what the survivor's doing. And then actually react to it. Because a lot of the times you're just not going to react to what the survivor's doing unless you're actually paying attention. But for example, that Quentin there, I think first two or three blinks, he just double backed every single time. Okay, I think all three survivors are here. Obviously, yeah. First choice survivor for me is the Claudette. She's death hook, and I can get more dead man switch value. That is not happening today, Claudette. Uh, just not the day, Chief. Okay, and now we're going to bring the game to a standstill for the next 45 seconds. Just by oppressing this gen and then blinking around the gens. And whatever gen they get off is now blocked for the next 30 seconds or so. I think the only gen they could be on is this corner one. Yeah, none of them are on gens right now. So anytime they actually were on a gen, we pretty much stopped it with Deadman Switch. And then the rest of the game, we just had too much pressure. Oh, there's a survivor here. Another Iron Ball survivor, I think. Oh my god, what a prediction. Damn, even I didn't think that would land. I had a feeling she'd went to the back, but I didn't think I would be so perfectly on her back. Nice. And that's the last survivor right there. Spinning in circles like a unit. You love to see it. Are you still going to be spinning in circles when I get there? Let's see. No, you're not. But it doesn't matter. GG. I actually got some decent value out of Deadman Switch. I managed to 4k on three gens. Definitely will take that. Really nice. Okay, Groaning Storehouse. This could be a very interesting map for this build. With how close in proximity these gens are around main building, you've literally got one... Oh, hello, Steve. What the fuck? I was just talking about the gen setup. Hello, Steve. Damn. I didn't expect to see you so quick. Okay, well, fuck it. I'll talk about the gens later. This can wait. Never mind. The Steve is dead hard. So we have how many gens by main building? One, two, three, four. So pretty much one blink away from main building, we'll get to those two gens too. And we can patrol six of the seven gens that spawn into the map just from that main building area. The Steve is a crackhead. So is that ace. He's just insane on the double backs. Here we go. Okay, that's fine. What we're going to do here is I did actually change the build. I took out Nemesis for Thrill because I don't think I'm getting any use out of Nemesis at all. And we can see the gens that are actually working on so that we know which ones to pressure to actually get Dead Man Switch value when we hook our obsession. But I know that they're on these two gens because all the other ones were... And they actually get both of them popped. That's fucking insane. Well, this is my obsession. So we're going to be able to slow down the game now once we get this person down. I could also go and slug the ace, or at least get a tag on the ace. To slow the game down a little. Everybody's here! Okay, it's a party. Sure. I'll get tags on everyone then. Give us a whole lot of momentum. Okay, they all ran away. That's fine. And let's get some dead man switch value off this Kate. Just to make sure they're not pursuing that gem rush anymore. Okay. Now all I need to do is blink over there. That's two people on the Shen. That ace is there. This should get dead man switched. If not, three down. Absolutely fine. Now that gen's going to be locked up for another 37 seconds or so. I get this Dwight down. And now I've got two survivors that are by the hook. This gen blocked for 30 seconds. And two survivors down. Hook the Steve as well. They're both still healing. Okay. I'm just going to oppress this then. And we'll go for them as they come over for the save. Ace is right here. That's a free hit. Tag the Kate too. Just to increase our snowball potential a little bit more. Also, she's our dead man switch survivor. So we do want as many downs on her as possible. Deny that save. What are you doing, Ace? Oh, is everybody just going to run towards the hook? Do you have BT? You probably have DS, right? Do something, Steve. Because your team are throwing... 
Do you have DS, Steve? Let's see. Of course you do. Okay, well, we'll hook the ace. <laughs> or the K, even. Get our dead man switch cranking for another 45 seconds. They're just throwing so hard to me right now. Playing so altruistically and literally just making it... Like, I'm not actively camping, but they're just bombing the hook, so I just can't really do anything. Like, me leaving the hook right now would be so stupid. And now I get three slugs, just like that. Okay, well, Dwight, you can go back on a hook. Another DS, wow. Crazy. Okay, well, we'll hook this Dwight, and we'll get more Devman switch value. He doubled back. I'm gonna go for a blink like this. Damn, he didn't bolt. Okay. No worries. What are you doing, Dwight? What's the play here, Dwight? What is the play? He's holding Shack door, I think. Yep. That whiffs! That's crazy. Uh, they're going for pickup. That's fine, though. I just want to get some dead man switch value off of this Dwight. This Dwight is pathing like a madman. At least we got rid of his dead hard there. Well, that's fine. Get the Dwight down. They have a lot of progression on this gen, too. So I'm going to assume it is a Swift, because they shouldn't. They just shouldn't have this much progression on the gens. And I'm assuming they have to play somewhat coordinated to get that. And normally, if they are coordinated as they are right now, it normally is a four stack. I do have three gens really close to each other right here, though. And they're all resetting over there, so I can get a fair bit of value if I go and pressure that. Okay, I'll go for the Kate. Kate's aggroing save. So she's just sort of putting herself in the best place to be chased because she's in an area of interest for me. How are you playing this, Kate? You're gonna vault. Okay, we're gonna cut her off. She has iron will. What did you do? Did you just stay in that corner or did you have dance with me? You stayed in this corner. Okay, that's fine. Hook the Kate right here. Got to save on the other Dwight. The Kate's dead. The, the, both of these survivors should be running this way, yeah? That's fine. Dwight didn't get his dead hard off in time. The Steve's in here. Steve is dead hard too. Okay, hook the Steve, and the last survivor's right there. Steve's dead. I did hear the, the last survivor. Yeah, they're right here. Of course you have Unbreakable. Can't say I'm surprised at all. With the perks these guys have been running. And take this guy's dead hard, and that's it for him. There you go. Well, GG Dwight.